Hey guys, so Dan from Trading with Dan here. So I wanted to do a quick video um, just explaining um, the concept of volatility and what it means um, with regarding to asset prices. Um, so basically what you need to generally understand um, with volatility, as volatility, volatility indexes go up, the price um, generally will be going down. Um, and there is a pretty simple explanation for that. And that is that um, market participants um, that are involved in these markets as the markets start to become more volatile they start to withdraw their withdraw their money from those markets because um, it's essentially turning into a gamble i mean obviously the markets could have high volatility to the upside and then high volatility to the low side um, but nonetheless that that is high volatility that they're unable to cope with so they become net sellers in the market withdrawing the capital um, which usually then obviously results in a in a lower price um, for that for that asset or that market um, so you see it in stocks as volatility goes up um, the price is generally going down and then as the price starts to go up um, volatility will be going down uh, and then obviously when volatility is going down the price will be going up i mean sort of a chicken and the chicken and the egg scenario um so we saw that in oil once oil got over um over about 38 um, it became it became pretty much uninvestable um uh, for large large companies for large basically investors uh, that are responsible for other people's money so they had to start withdrawing withdrawing capital from those markets it happened with stocks um um, basically the VIX um, once it starts getting too high people have to start withdrawing funds um, and then we're seeing obviously seeing this with Bitcoin as well as the Bitcoin market was becoming very volatile um, what happened was the price did start to 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 make some serious new lows and that's because people are like I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna play in this market anymore um, some obviously can't aren't, aren't allowed to have to take the money out once it starts getting that volatile others just choose to because because there's the, the the concept the saying of I'm just going to take my ball and go home, um, and that's what people people decide to do when you have high volatility in the market. So, without without understanding the concept of people withdrawing money because they can't play in these markets when they're so volatile, um, you might just think, well, we could have volatility to the upside, and that is fair enough. But but on the whole, you will find market participants will shy away from markets when they're a bit wild and wait for them to calm down. So if you think about it, once the market calms down, they can then reinvest their funds and then that will push the market back up again. So whilst yeah, whilst ever we have these volatile times, um, as the asset prices most affected by this volatility are likely to um, keep going down basically. So we need a stabilization in volatility before we can before we can start to see markets calm and capital start to then be redeployed. So I hope that um, was helpful to you guys. So remember, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and I will speak to you guys soon.